Hello, ladies and germs. I want to give a little advice about what I've learned building birdhouses. First thing I do is planning. Get a good book about birds, what birds are in your area. I found that um, if you go to your local Audubon Society, they often have a list of which birds are very common in your area. Some that some that build nests or just have platforms or whatever. It's good to good to check out those resources. Also look at plans for birdhouses. A lot of good ones. You can learn a lot about the technique, the sizes. You know, um, different birds have different hole sizes. The the height of the hole above the floor is important. They have charts online. I have my own um, book on which sizes, which birds, plans, etc. And uh, I find that about half your work is the actual planning. I make um, templates sometimes. I have dimensions. Let's, um, let's check out my work. This is my work area. The first thing you have to decide in planning is if you're going to make a functional birdhouse where birds can actually use and lay their eggs in or if it's just going to be decorative. I'm of course totally focused on functional birdhouse because I want to see the birds and I want to see the chicks hatching etc. So here's what I here's some of the tools I need. First I have a a, a saw general purpose radial saw. Also for safety reasons you should wear a mask and eye protection. Don't really need the mask, but I find the sawdust really gets in your nose and eyes, so you want to protect yourself there. Another thing you absolutely need is a square to keep the sides of the birdhouse square, a good ruler, dust mop, etc. Um, I find the biggest problem is that the the cuts are not square and when you try to put things together uh, the sides don't match or the top doesn't fit, etc. I use a radial saw and a router. But I find the these things um, can cause difficulties because it's hard to get a straight line. So you might want to make what I call a jig here. So if you're uh, if you're cutting if you're cutting a piece of wood and you want that to be straight Use your um, use your tool here to make sure you have a square. Then you draw a line. And make your cut that way. Then when you go to cut it, you can line up that blade with the saw marks. The construction method that I often use requires a, a 22 degree, actually 22 and a half degree cut. And to do that, you use a router. You can see here that the, the, the bottom piece of wood is just used as a guide and the cut is actually on the top piece of wood. And you just slide that along and you get a nice clean cut. I use the I use the 22 degrees 22 and a half degrees for for it to match the backboard like this. All the safety things I always have a three foot space where you can walk. You're not stepping on wood pieces or nails or wires. I I hang my wires up on the top so I can plug things in. For uh, the 22 degree, well for square cuts you use your saw but you can also adjust this. It has a 22 and a half degree marking, markings on here so you can just you can just adjust this and cut the sides to the right angle so, to, so it matches the bevel angle. Another good tool to have is a box cutter and a box saw. You can get nice square cuts this way. These are 
usually fit two by four in there nicely. You can get bigger ones and get a 45 degree cut or a 90 degree cut. Very handy. Once I've got the rough cuts, I bring them inside, start to assemble them. It's a little cleaner in here. Um, again, a big problem is that the width, when you put the top on, it doesn't match the bottom. You can do some fine tuning here. Um, I'm making five at once. This is the, the roof, and it should hit both sides evenly. If it's done right, you'll have a nice fit. Wood. This is a vent hole. If it's done right, you'll have a nice fit. There's a vent hole. I often put um, wood putty here to seal that crack. Here's a finished product. I often paint them light colors, but this one I just finished with a deck seal. Uh, I made sure that the roof was sealed. Big vent hole, uh, ventilation hole. I like to use a hinge on the bottom. So this front piece, if you, if you uh, unscrew this key, this will fold out and you can clean it up. I also like to use um, two inch PVC pipe. It's cheap, it works well. Squirrels and vermin can't get in there. Attach that to the bottom and uh, put it on a pole. Uh, here's one that's finished and mounted and painted. Hope you learned a few things. Thanks for your attention. Good luck.